five strides. And, but like you said, uh, you know, it's mileage that these young horses require. That's why Andrew's riding the horse while you're focusing sort of on both your riding and the management of these shows. And so he'll continue to progress, I'm sure. Now we'll watch uh, Hardin Tal, who's here with the Amalaya Investments entry, 12-year-old Dark Bay Royal Dutch Warmblood Gelding by Tolano Venet Reithoff. This is Bravour. Bravour uh, recently uh, came runner-up in the late summer KHJA Grand Prix. Hardin also just... Uh, last week winning at the Kentucky National Horse Show down in Lexington. Two and weeks in a row he won St. Louis. In fact, well. he also won in St. Louis as well, yes. And this horse is owned by Amalai Investments and the News family. Harden's really starting to develop a partnership with this horse. Jumped a lot of great rounds the other day. Jumped great, had one time fault. You know, Amalaya Investments, great supporters, particularly of the Split Rock Jumping Tour. They sponsor events throughout the uh, show jumping world, but have definitely taken a particular interest in, in these events. And also have an interesting dynamic with several different riders having taken on the Amalaya Investments mounts as Megan Noose, uh, amateur rider, went off to school. She's still a rider, but she's got to give these horses the continued training that these great riders are capable of offering. And so she's uh, allowed some others to take them on during her absence. And there, it was a very similar mistake to my horse, the previous horse with Andrew Borns, caught a bit of a forward distance, the triple bar, and again, just got there really early in, in five strides at A. And, and when I walked that, this course, I thought that that was going to be, I don't know about the bogey, but definitely the most technical part of this course.